This demonstration will show the termination procedure for fitting a compression F-type connector to RG6 quad shielded coaxial cable. Cut the cable squarely using a pair of cable cutters. A tool designed specifically for cutting coaxial cable is recommended to reduce cable distortion during the cutting process. Use a cable stripper designed to expose the required amount of center conductor and dielectric specific to the connectors you are using. Squeeze the stripper handle to open the tool jaws and then insert the cable until it hits either a positive stop or a designated position. Release pressure on the stripper handle to close the tool around the cable. To prepare the cable, rotate the stripper forward three rotations around the cable until you feel less resistance. Be careful not to cut through the cable braid. Open the cable stripper and remove it from the cable. There should now be two cut marks on the cable, one deep cut allowing the outer sheath, braid, foil and dielectric to be totally removed. The second cut is only deep enough for removal of the outer sheath. Remove the cut material and check the integrity of the centre conductor for any damage. Use your fingers to carefully pull the braid back over the sheath, leaving the foil in place. For quad shielded cable you may, if required, pull back the outer layer of braid to remove the outer layer of foil to allow for easy termination of the compression crimp. Ensure the inner layer of foil remains around the dielectric intact. Ensure that the center conductor is clean and free from any excess dielectric. Any excess dielectric should be removed gently with your fingernail. Do not use a knife or any other sharp implement as damage to the conductor's surface will affect the signal flow. When handling compression connectors, grip the connector at the nut or between the nut and compression die. Insert the prepared cable into the connector and push firmly. Care must be taken when inserting the cable into the connector so as not to damage the center conductor. When the connector is properly attached, the dielectric should be flush with the internal base of the connector. Lift the compression tool handle to retract the plunger. There are many types of compression tools on the market. The tool depicted in this demonstration is designed to supply 360 degree compression on the connector. Seat the nut of the connector on the head of the plunger and lower the cable into the groove of the tool. Squeeze the tool handle to compress the connector onto the cable. This will form a 360 degree conical seal around the cable. Lift the tool handle to retract the plunger. Remove the finished connector assembly from the tool.